So it's about five sleeps until Santa Claus comes. I've kind of waited to the last minute to get the horseshoe projects done. So sorry this video is so late, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that project knocked out and finish getting ready for Christmas. So for the snowman project, I'm gonna use four horseshoes. These are pretty big horseshoes, and then this is about a medium size and a smaller size for the head. This is actually gonna act as the base. So I'm gonna just tack weld the fronts here because I don't want really big welds here. I wanna kinda of conceal the welds. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'll put some better welds on the back. I'm gonna be using my little Harbor Freight welder. So my wife was giving me a hard time because when I called my Harbor Freight welder a piece of trash, she's wondering why, you know, I said, oh, I built all these things with it and it's a great welder, but it's a piece of trash. The reason I kind of call it a piece of trash is because even though it's a very viable welder for, and I recommend it to homeowners to go out and fix exhaust or your kid's swing set or whatever, I certainly wouldn't go build a car trailer with this thing or build anything structural and get yourself killed or somebody else killed. So that's kind of why I call it a piece of trash. Um, it's not, you know, a nice Lincoln or Miller welder. And if you try to do something too big with it, it, it might not work. So it's a great little welder, not a great big welder. So for the arms for the snowman, what I do is just put the, one of the horseshoes underneath it, kind of get the arm to where I want it, and then just put a mark on here where you want to cut it. Cut one side, then do the other side. I'm going to use my Rowby grinder to cut this off. I have a grinding wheel in here, not a sponsor, just like their tools. You can also cut this with a hacksaw. Okay, I have my arms cut for the snowman, positioned them where I want them. And when I weld these, I'm actually gonna weld that little groove. And these little welds you can see here, I'm gonna grind those down.
So to make the hat, I just make it in a vise. And all you're really trying to do is just make like an upside down U with a couple little wings on it. I like using this quarter inch rod better than using a horseshoe. Some people will get a bigger horseshoe, heat it up and bend the bottom of the horseshoe out. I don't really like that look as much. I know that makes it a complete horseshoe project, but I like doing it this way. Okay, so I don't like the way that first one turned out, that first hat turned out. Try this again. It's definitely not easy to do this part of it. What I didn't like about the other one is the hat was too wide at the top and it looked kind of weird. Okay, so this next part, you're going to have to decide how tall you want the hat to be. So I guess if you want to go like a Lincoln style, you can make this like super tall. I want to probably bend it about right here because whatever point you pick, when you make these bends, it's not going to bend right at that point. It'll actually curve around a little bit further. So you want to be pretty conservative if you don't want a super tall hat. So I'm probably going to start somewhere in here. And then I'm going to want to put this in the vise in the same spot because I want the, the hat to be symmetrical. Okay, so I'll go ahead and weld the hat on here. I always kind of put the hat off to the side because I like my snowmen to be hip little nonconformists. And plus it makes it easier so you don't try to get it dead center and then it doesn't work. So it's better to stiffen them off to the side. Make it look like you purposely kept the crooked.
Okay, and then I waited to cut the ends of the hat off. So I figured just kind of pick a point to where it'll look nice and cut them off. For the reindeer, the body's gonna be made up of a couple bigger horseshoes. Then you'll have a head, well the antlers on, and then legs, and then I'm gonna use a piece of the cut up horseshoe for a little tail. So this next part is pretty tricky. I always seem to get it wrong at least once. Cause you gotta put the legs on here. Now I see the mess it up. It's not perfect, but I'll live with it. I'm gonna weld the tail on, which is also not very easy. And with these deer, I kind of figure on displaying them one way or the other. So here on this side, gives you all the detail of all of the horseshoes, like all the, what they actually look like. And then the other side is just flat. That's why I like to put the bigger welds on the back. So when you display it, you'd want to display it so all of the markings on the horseshoes show on one side and that's also the way you want to build it you'll see that i have the markings going forward on the horseshoes so when you're looking at it this way you see all the details put smaller welds on here and then really you know do what you got to do on the back to hold it together okay i'm gonna use a grinder i'm not going to use an abrasive wheel i'm just going to well never mind they're all abrasive wheels uh i'm going to use this this uh, fabric wheel versus your typical type grinding wheel because all I'm really trying to do is knock off some slag and clean up these little spots that came on here when you AC weld little like spatter metal so I'm just trying to get those little pieces off from there too So I'm gonna have to wire brush these little spots that still have some slag, that miscoloring on there. On the back, I don't really care so much what these look like, but you wanna get rid of all the slag because that's where all the impurities in the weld end up and that'll cause this to rust out. So you might paint Frosty up here to be super nice and white and then in a few years, he's gonna end up looking really bad. And I noticed this a few minutes ago, uh, I. I don't know. I don't really like Christmas music. I'm more of an alternative music guy. Don't really like Christmas carols and stuff. So I don't really know the words to Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, but I do know I forgot his nose. So I usually make that out of a bolt, and I'll show you how to make that. Maybe if I was 
more into the Christmas spirit, maybe I'll remember that. So he needs a nose. Okay, so to make his nose, all I'm gonna do is grind down one face of this, or I can grind down a couple faces, it doesn't matter. I know I explained before not to weld through this stuff. So a little bit of this is gonna get airborne, but I'm going to weld this face onto his nose, and then I'm just gonna fill up the rest of this with metal. It's not gonna weld real well at first because of that coating. And like I said, it'll be a little bit dangerous getting this stuff airborne, but I'm willing to sacrifice my health to get this thing done. It's getting pretty late. pretty cool Rudolph snows glow is about 6,000 degrees but it won't last hopefully I can finish getting this thing filled in here after this cools down okay now the last thing I'm gonna do before I paint this is use the wire brush clean up the rest of this slag off from here and then this little spots that the grinder couldn't get I'm just gonna grind those off real fast Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up Rudolph's nose here. I'm also gonna get right off those little angles. I mean, he already has a red nose, be made fun of for that. He also shouldn't be made fun of for having a hexagon nose. Okay, same thing on Rudolph here. Just clean it up, get all that slag off. Okay, so the nose is pretty hard to do because you always get some imperfections. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of Bondo around here. This stuff's real cheap. You can get it from Walmart. Um, quite a bit of it and the hardener and everything. Not a, not a lot of money. It's good for just fixing up little repairs like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit around his nose to even that out. And then just kind of fill in some of these imperfections. This stuff will dry pretty quick and I'll be able to sand it down and paint it. The reason I care so much about this, all of this is gonna be brown and black. This is gonna be a bright red. So any imperfections, you're gonna definitely see them. Okay, I'm gonna let that bundle harden up, come back, sand it down, and start priming. For Rudolph's nose, I just sanded it down with 180 grit sandpaper. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these primed. Primer's dry, so I'm gonna start painting these up.
So here's the finished product. You probably won't be able to see the detail. The hooves are black. And for the snowman, I usually like to make the scarf out of ribbon that has the wire in it. I couldn't find any that I like this year because you can form it a whole lot better. But overall, I think they turned out pretty well. I think I made these start to finish, I don't know, probably three hours of actual time. So it doesn't take that long to do both of them, get them all painted up. So I'm glad that project wrapped up. I'm gonna start framing again. I framed this wall, didn't film it because I actually need to get the wood out of the way to get some other stuff done. But I'm gonna finish framing up these walls and I have a couple of small interior walls that I'm gonna put up over here on this side. And then there's gonna be beams that run across both sides. And I'm gonna put the ceiling in. It'll just be two by, uh, two by eight spanned across. So stay tuned for those videos. I'm excited to get this thing framed in and insulated because this building is super, super cold being a metal building and having a cement floor. So definitely want to get this done and get the wood stove in as well. So thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas. Thanks.